right guys. So it's currently five o'clock. <laughs> Right guys, so before we get into this, I'd like to say ignore the ticking sound, it's my lens basically. I usually talk loud enough to kind of go over the top of it, but it was 5 o'clock in the morning and it was a bit, oof, so I couldn't speak too loud in the house. Sorry. Guys, so it's currently 5 o'clock and we're at the Mexican household and we're currently just waiting for time. So we'll have to go watch Ruben, a kid who's sponsored in go kart and go do some go-karting today. Anyway, I'll explain more there. Let's get going. Guys, so we've actually made it to the track now. Like a little bit of a cool sight behind us, a little oil refinery, but what can you do? Right, so at the track, let's take a little closer look. It's gonna be a good day, it's a bit cold, a bit damp, but everybody says Ruben does better in damp, so let's hope for a better result there. Like, but look at this. It's a bit dark, so let's hope it lightens up a bit, gets a bit warmer because it's quite nippy. But it's gonna be good so far I reckon. A bit noisy like, don't know if you guys can hear that. It's not the quietest thing in the world, but we'll have to put up with what we got. Put up with what we got. But I should probably help them guys put the tent up. A bit rude not to like it. Right guys, so it's got a bit lighter now. We're just talking setup, see what we're gonna do. We're metal bumpers, classic bumpers, see what we're gonna do. But so far it's been good. Warmed for a bit, really strong smell of methane, which isn't nice, which I guess it's because of that. But let's get on with it. Nothing we can do about methane smell, but just get set up right and get going. Cut the bodge and the GoPro out and take a look at this. Should work. Mm. Well, that would be better or not. Could be. Give it a go, like. Where's that other one? I ain't got it. Uh, <laughs> we lost it. In your mouth. There we go. I don't know, where, where should we go? So, um, yeah, around there will do, won't it? Right there. Uh, so 
nearly there with GoPro mount, just a few more nuts and bolts. And we've already cut the hole on the go kart, so take a look at this. Cut the hole, nice and ready for the GoPro mount. Hopefully, capture some action at race. We've got a few time lapses going on here. I can can't really see the screen, but it's time lapse in that ball area, which is always a we must have some time lapses to fill in some space. So I'll insert that time lapse now, as well as one over there that will fill in. And then we'll get back to the rubber now. Right guys, so we're all on the grid and I'm sort of freezing cold. If you get anybody, it's number 44, pinpoint him out, you're not allowed to film. Now you know at Gen Speed Shop you don't really like to obey the rules, so we're gonna completely just ignore that rule. I'm gonna film every this bit of it. Uh, every last bit should I say. Oh he's spun like oh he's over. Oof. But yeah, race should be going on, it's in about 10-15 minutes, it's a rolling start. Not a lot of film, but who cares, let's do it anyway. See you then. Properly shown you around the place. Now it is a pretty small little compound they have, but here's a few shots to show you around. Officially race time, let's go get it Ruben. Oh it's bad timing. Right so guys we're gonna go check on where Ruben is. Can't seem to find him. I'm a bit lost in the middle of nowhere. But find out anyway. Go see where they are, go see if I can find him and see what's going on.
standing outside waiting, waiting for you. You were always taking time, baby, playing it through. I was calling out your name, put my eyes on the wall. You were running like a ghost from me. You were running from it all. You got me waiting. I'm on fire. You got me waiting. My desire. Right guys, so this is the moment it all went terribly wrong really. Basically the chain bounced off the sprocket, knocked the oil filler cap off and sprayed oil all over the engine. So basically we thought Ruben's car had exploded at this point, but it turns out it hadn't and it was just an excess oil on the engine that had obviously left the fuel filler cap and was just burning. Hang on, not on, not on the tarmac. C carry it along the grass. Yeah, I've got a bit. That's fair. Take it. Across. That's good. It's pissed out a lot, isn't it?
not through that. Retired from second, retired from third, and then second. That's how we're, I push it all the way around, me. I find it easier. Come on, I'll tell you. Oh, so guys, excuse me, it's a bit windy. We have just got in second place. So, good on him. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh,